Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the podcast of the Spirit Channel. I'm so glad to be back. Um, feels like a lifetime since I've done one of these, um, even though it is only, what, two weeks? Two weeks. Um, I didn't get one recorded last week. Well, I actually did, but at the time when I recorded it, the audio did not sound great. I thought it was really poor, so... Uh, I just didn't put it out um, and as I said I, I don't have a script or um, notes or any kind of reference when I'm doing these so the thought of um, recording it all over again and trying to collect my thoughts was just too off-putting. On top of all that um, as I mentioned in my blog I, um, I wrote a piece there just kind of um, it was basically just a snapshot of my life, a cross section of my life at the minute, just explaining uh, how busy I am. And it's not that I'm, um, that this busyness is unique to me. I'm sure many others who listen to this or who don't listen to this have extremely busy lives and, you know, doing lots of things. But I'm just saying how I am and how I feel. And sometimes it's a bit overwhelming trying to create all this content and keep up and you know, record things of value um, on top of everything else that, you know, you're trying to do and then trying to fit a, a normal life into that um, uh, and working at the same time. It, it's, a, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, as I also mentioned in the podcast, sorry, not the podcast, the blog post art is um, my uh, spiritual practices, my groups um, that I attend have just started up. So this is a an extra drain on me. Um, I have like at least three nights out a week um, attending various spiritual uh, development circles and, and groups. So just at some point, I think you just need to take a step back and just uh, calm down and um, slow down. Uh, and again, I feel that uh, I know that the, this is kind of a weekly thing, but I have to be really conscious. You know, I have to, um, and what I've always said to myself, look, if I have nothing of interest to say, then I'm not going to say anything. And so I just don't want to put it um, podcast for the sake of putting it in a podcast if I don't truly feel that uh, I have something to offer, something to say. But as I said, this was one that I wanted to record last week. Um, I wanted to record the previous day that I um, that I wished to put it out and I left it for a day and I'd lost a bit of momentum. And then as I said, by the time I got to recording it, the quality just sounded really poor, so I left it. But I do want to continue today and I, I think it's uh, it's an important um it's an important topic. It is, it's a very important topic and it's also partly inspired and maybe this was the reason um, why I didn't get publishing. It was also partly inspired um, by an event or um, something that happened there when I was out at one of my spiritual practices. I'm a spiritual healer on top of whatever else that I do or whatever else I'm capable of doing and um, I do attend a um, center for healing a place where people can come and receive spiritual healing and i was i guess i was a bit overwhelmed by the amount of people who have come for healing and in various states of uh what would be the word various states of disagreement of um unhappiness uneasiness and a lot of the time um, certainly in one or two cases, people just aren't able to put their finger on what it is that they are unhappy about or what it is that's wrong with their life. And so this is something that I can relate to. And I think that you, the listener, will be able to, to relate to this. And I hope that um, this podcast will give you a bit more insight into uh, why it is you're feeling like this. So this podcast is all about feelings. Um, it's all about your feelings and our feelings. We tend uh, we tend to gloss over what our feelings are. We tend not to 
give them too much credence or really examine, look, what is feelings? What are feelings? How are they linked to emotions? Why am I feeling like this? So, as I said, this podcast is going to be discussing feelings from a spiritual nature and hopefully um, you'll have a bit more clarity and you'll have a bit more understanding and you'll understand a bit more why you're feeling in a certain way and hopefully then have some good tips and advice as to to get yourself out of the funk perhaps that you've been in and yes this episode is not just about all feelings in particular but it is about as i said those feelings of unease those feelings of uh, something missing of um something uh, just not uh, in sync with your life um and oh i completely lost my train of thought so yeah as i said hopefully uh hopefully when this podcast finishes you you'll have a bit more understanding but yeah this as i said there was a few people who came there and the place that i i offer healing and thing it's not it's not somewhere that you can just um kind of just talk openly about any kind of spiritual topic they have certain uh rules and regulations and especially when it comes to healing and um it's meant to be healing only it's not particularly a place of discussion and um kind of not really meant to to really um as i said discuss anything outside of what we what we do for healing or or what we uh what healing is um so it led me kind of in a bit of a pickle you know felt like perhaps i should have maybe give these people a um a few bits of advice or a few hints but at the same time i didn't think it was the place for it so if, if then people happen to be listening to this then i hope you get something out of it but anyway that that's enough ramble so your feelings your feelings um what are your feelings your feelings are something that have been very undervalued by society we've been taught um that our feelings aren't really of that much of a benefit they're not really they're just something that's there isn't it that's just something that we feel we feel happy we feel sad we feel angry we feel glad we feel um depressed we feel ecstatic we feel jealous we feel at peace we feel in love we feel in lust we feel we feel we just feel and we take these feelings for granted and we don't necessarily um think deeper on them when we're happy we're happy when we're sad we're sad and generally you know we go well i'm sad because of this um or i'm sad because of a i'm happy because of b i'm angry because of c i am at peace because of d and we generally tend to think of um our feelings um and largely so um being a product of our environment of our everyday life as we wake up and we go through our day uh, we generally um, have feelings based upon the experiences and the interactions that we have during this day uh, obviously there is more to it than that obviously we have um, hopes we have dreams we have fears we have um, anxieties um, we have things that play in our mind. We have events and situations in the past, events and situations in the potential future that can cause our feelings to um, be any one of these emotions that I had already mentioned. You know, we could be dreading uh, or apprehensive about a future event. We could be. Um, joyous and happy about remembering something you know pleasurable that happened in the past we may feel uh, at peace in our present moment or we may feel um, angry at something that has just happened to us so the passage of time i guess um can also have a large impact on our feelings and this is all nothing new this is all um it's all old news we we already know this but what about those times when everything seems to be okay with our lives everything seems to be okay with the world 
you know, okay, we, we still have hopes and dreams and fears and stuff like that, you know, but nothing really, nothing that is uh, outstanding, nothing that is immediate, nothing that is um, of such a nature that it has to be dealt with at this present moment or at some time in the near future. And so sometimes we just have this feeling of unease, this feeling of there's just something wrong, something wrong with the world, something wrong with my life. And I, I can't describe it. I can't put it into into words. I just feel this unease. Um, and it's just bugging me. It's like an itch that I can't scratch. It's, it's something that I can't shake. And as I mentioned um, in a very earlier podcast, unless we're close with someone, very close in some occasions, we generally don't communicate these feelings to, to people. You know, when we're asked um, about how our day is or asked how our life is, you know, you meet a, an old acquaintance, an old friend, you know, maybe it's a family gathering and how are you? How, how's the family? How, how's things? How's your partner? How's your friend? How, how's life? And as I said, generally what we do is, is just put on a mask, is portray a false um, a false face, for, for want of a better word, to to the person asking, we generally just respond in banalities. We generally just say, oh, yes, things are fine. You know, I'm doing good. Uh, they're doing good. He's doing good. She's doing good. We're all fine. Nothing really wrong. Or if we, we do mention that things aren't particularly great, we, we generally say it as a, as, a, as a bit of a joke, you know, with a bit of humor, as in to say that I'm not really being serious about this. And as I said, this is uh, this is the nature of, of being a songbird. You know, we're we're not able to express um, how how we truly are in society unless we have very close friends. And even even with those close friends, how many of them do we turn around and say, "Look, there's just something wrong." I mean, I don't know what it is, but I just can't put my finger on it. Um, probably very few, I would imagine. But um, as I said, like this. This is something that um, affects us and a lot of us feel this way. A lot of us have felt this way our entire lives, but that's that's a different conversation for a different time. But you'll have those times, you'll have those periods in your life where you just, maybe the sun is out, the, um, it's a nice day, you know, people are friendly, you know, you know, the world seems to be okay. You know, you, you seem to be, be moving forward for want of a better term in life there doesn't seem to be any blockages but for some reason you cannot shake the sense of unease the shake shake the sense of um there's something wrong something's missing and we tend to just try as best we can to bury those feelings to to shake them off and hopefully by you know distract ourselves with with various things Maybe we go out for a drink or maybe we uh, catch up on the latest movie or television series or soap opera. Maybe we go out and, you know, some form of physical exercise or, you know, take part in a sport. Whatever the case may be, we, we generally distract ourselves from this. But that really is not helpful. And our feelings are something that are... It's, it's like our guidance system. We should really be paying attention to our feelings. We should be sitting down with ourselves and examining why we're feeling like this. Um, I've had many, many times where I felt like this and for all the things that I've just mentioned or I've, I've done, if not most of them, try to, to block it, shut it away, convince myself and try to be happy. But ultimately, um, if it's a general, or sorry, if it's a deep feeling of unease, or uh, as I said, just just this deep feeling of there's something I'm missing, almost like I'm a, a form of amnesia, very frustrating. You can't shut that off, and so it's important to sit down and actually get in tune with your feelings, examine why you're feeling like this, and the first thing to do is to get yourself off away from everyone, away from everything, and spend time alone with yourself. Get to know yourself better. Get to understand your feelings because these feelings are trying to tell you something. They're generally trying to tell you something. 
uh, we as human beings um, are very much like an antenna, like a radio receiver or a television mast, um, or I guess in today's modern society, a, um, a news feed. Um, or a, or a, a, a social media feed, you know, of all the things that we're kind of interested in. So we, we, we are a receiver and we are a receiver of many different um, forms of energy, of wavelengths of transmission. Uh, it's like trying to tune a radio if you've ever tried to do that. You know, maybe on your car, you're trying to, to find a better station or find your favorite station and you'll, you'll, you'll push the button or twist the dial in order to pick up different frequencies, different stations, and some of them will be crackly, some of them will be clear, you'll, you'll hear different ones and then you'll press the button again to get on to the next. So we as human beings, our consciousness that is on a, on a spiritual level, we are a magnet and an antenna for different frequencies. We are bombarded every day and we don't actually realize it. We don't realize that um, that this is what we are. Um, and a lot of our thought processes are like this here. A lot of our thoughts um, generally aren't our own, which may sound surprising, but we can pick up a whole host of thoughts um, and a whole host of vibrations and frequencies that are generally not our own. And this is um, this is how spirit communication works, mediumship, and it's also how channeling works, is that um, images and thoughts are impressed into our mind and we, as the television or radio, um, translate those thoughts and those images and those feelings into words and concepts to be explained to the listening or partaking audience. And so it's much the same way. We are receiving transmissions and, and thoughts from um, various types of spiritual beings. We are, um, we have people who have not crossed over who have still remained on this earth and they are constantly trying to um, impress upon our minds for good or ill. Um, their their thoughts. Um, we are receiving. We have we have um, our spiritual team around us. We have our guides, our guidance system, and they are like our steering mechanism or our autopilot, I guess, if you like. Um, they generally try to steer us in a in a in a direction that is helpful for us in a. Um, a course through life that is most beneficial for our spiritual um, advancement and our spiritual growth. A lot of the way they do this, most of the way they do this is through feelings, not necessarily through thoughts, but sometimes through thoughts too. Um, and on top of that, we also have our higher self. Our higher self, I'll just explain very briefly my understanding of it, is... Um, is ourselves, we, we hear the term higher self and lower self. We would be the lower self. We, the, the physical form and the spirit within that, uh, that is housed within this physical fleshy body is the lower self. But as multi-dimensional um, beings, we also have a higher self. And that higher self really is what we would call the pinnacle, the epitome, the zenith um, of ourselves at our fullest um, stage of our, our creation, at our peak potential, our fully spiritually evolved self, um, the self that is um, at the end of our journey, at the end of all our journeys. And this higher self directs all of our um, soul shards and um, I guess I haven't really explained this but as I said multi-dimensional and the theory is is that we uh, exist in um, we have different aspects of our soul or our spirit and these aspects of us um, 
exist in different um, potentials, different potential timelines, different potential realities. Um, a bit like a maze or a, a tree, whenever there becomes a possibility, whenever you could take a left or right path, um, the path splits, the, the tree trunk you know, splits into two branches and then obviously, you know, at each end of these branch, when there becomes more choices in each branch, they split again. So if you imagine that at the end of each branch, there is a, a piece of you that could have taken this path or has taken this path and your higher self orchestrates all of this, orchestrates all of this and it's above time. So not only have you got all these potential pieces and aspects of you are running along all these timelines and existing in all these different dimensions and realities, but you also have um, your past self and your future selves at various stages of your spiritual growth um, throughout all the different dimensions and different densities, which I will talk about more in further podcasts. But Basically, uh, if you imagine like your, your school grades, imagine that you existed in each of your school grades all at the same time. So from grade one right up to grade seven or grade five or grade 11, whatever, whatever the case may be. And your higher self has access to and is in contact with all aspects of you and is guiding each and every aspect of you to your greatest potential, to your greatest growth. So you've, as I said before, you've got all of these different aspects, all of these different um, entities um, who are um, helping you, uh, who are trying to get your attention, who may not be have your best interests at heart. Um, and you're being bombarded each day. So. Sometimes we, we can have a strange feeling or we can have a strange thought and have no idea where it came from. And if we think along these lines and try to really examine where that thought came from, where that feeling came from, we can begin to understand um, why, it's, why, why we feel a certain way or why we think a certain way. Um, on top of that, we also have... Um, as I think I've mentioned in, in the past, which haven't really explained in great depth, the fact that this earth itself is changing, this earth itself is moving to a lighter vibration. It is, the earth itself is spiritually ascending as a planet, as a planetary body. And it has not been an easy process because um, the state of humanity has largely retarded that process. Um, when we look at humanity to the day, we look at all the wars, the famine, the inequality, the greed, the abuse, physical, emotional, and mental, um, and the destruction of planet Earth itself, and all of the unhappiness and misery that, uh, that human beings have, have caused upon this Earth. Um, and that creates a, an unconscious or um, collective, sorry, that creates a collective energetic state of affairs. Um, it creates a, a, an energy that is not easily dissipated. It is not easily spent. And so the earth itself needs to deal with this accumulated energy to dissipate this energy. Um, before it can really um, move into this new vibration, this golden age of humanity, this spiritually ascended age of, of the planet. Um, and the only way that we can truly move into this is when humanity as a collective really begins to, in greater numbers, um, awaken and, asc uh, not ascend, but um, what's what's the term? Um, start start living a spiritual life. Start living a spiritual life and um, understanding um, how our actions reverberate back on on each other when we um, have so called negative actions upon each other. But anyway, the reason why I'm saying this here is that it has been a tricky process. It has been uh, not a smooth process. 
But we as a human race, and we as a planet are receiving a hell of a lot of help. A whole, whole lot of help as, as they believe Crow, um, one of the entities contacted who's helping our Earth has said, um, the, the group that they work with, the Confederation, have moved heaven and Earth in trying to um, help humanity to spiritually ascend as a collective, as a race. Now, not that I'm getting into it, um, it's, it would seem that uh, it's not quite all of humanity's fault. We have been manipulated um, by darker forces, by um, forces that have not had our best interests at heart to wish to keep us in the dark who wish to keep us from ascending and reaching our true potential. And they have cast a dark shadow across the face of this earth for many a millennia. Um, so this has made the process a lot more difficult. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about this. So one of the ways in which um, these beings, and there is a whole host of them, you may have heard some of them as Palladians, Arturians, Andromedans, Cassipians, um, a Galactic Federation, um, various alien um, or extraplanetary people, ascended masters, um, all sorts of extra and higher dimensional bodies and frequencies and all sorts of things that are, that are here to help us. Um, and one of the ways in which they do this is they send vibrations of light. Um, they send lighter vibrations to the planet and this affects uh, people's moods. It affects people's vibrations in ways in which they're not understanding, ways in which the majority of people don't understand. And so this also feeds into the idea or the reason why that all, when all seems well with the world, you just feel like something is missing. You just have this uneasiness in you. So as you can see, if you understand all this and take all of this on board, is that um, it's not just you. It's not that you are um, feeling odd or feeling different and when we're like this, we tend to chastise ourselves. You know, why the hell am I feeling this? Get a grip of yourself. You know, you, you need to um, you need to straighten yourself out. Um, and we we admonish ourselves. We think critically critically of ourselves for feeling this when when there is really nothing wrong, and begin to feel that we're at fault. But when we when we begin to understand that it's not just us that we are being bombarded with. Um, frequencies, with thoughts, ideas, with feelings, um, then we begin to understand that it, it's not us and we shouldn't turn a critical eye to ourselves. Instead, we should be stopping in our tracks and examining ourselves, getting in contact, getting in tune with ourselves and asking, what is going on here? Why am I feeling like this? What could possibly be making me feel like this? Is there something that I need to pay attention to? And generally, this is the correct answer. There is something that you need to be paying attention to. As I said, perhaps um, if the presence felt, or perhaps if it's a, if it's a feeling or a, a thought, um, it's generally um, our guides, our higher self, maybe even angels, trying to get our attention, trying to steer us to a different course of action. They see potentially that we may be choosing an action or be, may be choosing a path that may not be resonating um, with our highest good, with our um, highest potential. Um, and if we go down that path, we may um, may be stalled in our growth or may, um, uh, may actually go backwards. And so while they will not break our free will by uh, coming and telling us and actually moving us, they will give us indicators. They will give us feelings, nudges, um, and that is a lot of that is, or that is a lot of the limit of what they can do. Because I said, all positive forces will not break your free will. 
this has to be your own choice and your own actions. So it is hope then that you will pay attention to these nudges, these feelings and thoughts, and you will start to examine them. And it's then when you when you um, when you do this here, um, and when you start to examine this, and um, you should then ask for help, for guidance, and this allows the, that team around you and also your higher self, um, many other presences, to assist you and aid you even further. So then you're not quite on your own then, and generally the best way to do this is, that I think I was just about to mention or had mentioned, I can't remember now, um, is to be on your own, some place where there are no distractions, where you can sit in peace and quiet and listen listen to yourself and listen to any advice or message that you receive back it may just be your own thoughts or what you think are your own thoughts but it may be the answer that you're looking for um yeah so that that that's that's general to do um better perhaps if you're in nature because Nature is uh, nature's like a clean cloth, uh, wiping away the grime of the civilized, I say that in, um, with emphasis, civilized world, um, and helps us to reconnect with, um, with those in spirit who are a part ultimately of nature and um, who nature is created by. So, as I said, it can be that there. It could also... As I mentioned before, um, the earth itself, the earth itself is um, upgrading, it is changing, it is evolving spiritually, um, the earth itself is is the life, and the earth, um, the earth is being bombarded as well with, with energy waves, with light waves, with frequencies um, from um, all these uh, higher dimensional beings um, and also from um, the galactic sun um, the sun um, our sun and the galactic suns um, are very important um, the sun itself is is alive too just as we say mother earth is alive then the sun itself is also alive um, along with all the galactic suns and they are um, they are creators in their own right um, and they are bombarding the earth with with energy ways helping the earth to make the transformation and to help with human consciousness and so what actually happens is that we have this um, a way that you can keep track of this uh, this is what I wanted to say and it was what I wanted to say to one of the people who um, had came for healing. She was uh, experiencing this um, feeling of of not of unease, on un uncertainty, and not knowing what it is. And I wanted to, you know, make her make this person aware of this. But as I said, I didn't. But it's something called the, the Schumann resonance, and it's very helpful for understanding um, why you're feeling like this too. Uh, it is called uh, the heartbeat of the earth and it is um, electromagnetic energy waves um, that are um, circulating the earth and are affecting uh, human beings, human emotions and human consciousness just as human consciousness and human emotions um, affect the earth. Um, because we are earthlings, um, we are in tune with the earth. We are resonating with the, with the earth at the same frequency. And so the earth picks up the collective feeling of human beings and the human beings pick up the collective feeling, if you like, of the earth. When the earth then is bombarded with these energy waves, it affects human beings. Now, one of the ways um, that these waves work is to um send very very high vibrations of love um to to the planet now it's not a vibration of love in which 
you know, everyone is going to get all lovey-dovey and get groovy <laughs> and, uh, you know, be hip, hip man like a bit like the swing in the 60s. It's more, um, it's more a way of um, understanding each other and understanding more about yourself. It's not love in the traditional sense that we would call it. It's more of a a true vibration that comes directly from the very creator itself. And it's more a way of um, uh, revealing more of yourself to yourself. Um, And it can bring up a lot of things uh, within us that we haven't dealt with, that have lain dormant, um, a lot of traits, uh, character traits, a lot of um, uh, personality traits and stuff um, that we have been bringing around or carrying around. And there's a lot of um, uh, karma, a lot of karma that we've brought into this life that we need to, um, uh, that we need to um, deal with, that we need to um, examine and integrate and deal with and ultimately discard. Um, so it brings up all these emotions and all these feelings within ourselves that we haven't really paid too much attention to. And in order for us to move forward in our spiritual journey, we need to um, examine ourselves. We need to get in tune with ourselves more. We need to examine our actions, look at our character traits, our personality traits, and you know, discard anything that's unhelpful and that isn't of this love vibration. Um, it's a way of um, treating everyone the same, of seeing everyone as yourself, as an aspect of yourself, of forgiveness, of tolerance, of empathy, of understanding, all these things. And as I said, it's not an obvious thing. Uh, it, it's more, as I said, like a, a sensation, a feeling of unease. And so once again, it is a way of um, getting to understand this and getting to, instead of shutting this feeling away, it bringing it to the fore and actually wearing this emotion on yourself like a, like a, like a new skin or a new set of clothes and saying, right, this is how I am. This is how I'm presenting myself to the world. This is the state of being that I'm in. It's not something to be shunned. It's not something to, you know, try to to um, push away and try to you know, put on a, a false face of happiness. Um, it's something that I wrote about and actually made a very, very um, early podcast. Um, it was just based on a blog post, actually, of mine. Um, and I'll put the link to it um but it was it was a time when i was feeling like this here and as i said i'd I'd been through all of the the usual techniques of blocking out negative emotions and putting on music and trying to convince myself that i was fine because I, i i felt at the time that everything's fine i don't need to be feeling this but there's only so much you can do only so much you can put off before you have to and um, turn around and pay attention, you know, to, to this nagging feeling and say, right, okay, you know what, I can't ignore you any further. Fine, what is it that you want? Um, and when you do that there, it's it's an acceptance. Okay, you're here, you're here to stay. I need, there's something in this that I need to deal with. There's something in this that I need to pay attention to. And so you bring that feeling out, you bring that feeling to the fore and word and really feel into it and go, right, okay, if if it's there, I'm really going to feel into it. I'm going to really express this feeling, this sense of unease within my being. And as I said, once you start to do that, then you can move forward. Then you can begin to understand why it is that you're feeling like this. And whether it's a message, whether it's a course of action you should be taking, or whether it's, as I said, a, a message from the earth itself or, um, a shift in consciousness, say, um, in the spiritual community or a lot, a lot of the spiritual community, we like to say it, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade to your frequency, to your light vibration, to your very spiritual essence, to to transform, um, to, to shed an old habit, to shed an old quirk, a personality trait, 
um, a piece of um, unnecessary karma and to really advance and move through this here. So it's something that is very, very helpful to you. It's a, it's a wrap on the head, it's a tap on the shoulder, it's a whisper in the ear, it's whatever you wanna call it, but it's something ultimately that's not uh, negative, it's not something that's going to drag you down, but it's something that if utilized and listened to and understood, um, is something that will lead you to a very positive, positive outcome. And so, I have probably went almost over my time, or have I? I may have to split this into two. I don't really want to take up too much more of your time, but as I said, this generally is your feelings and your emotions. And as I said, because we haven't been taught this, because we haven't been taught this in our society, in our education systems, because we're not taught about the spiritual life, we don't know how to react when we feel feelings like this. We don't know why it is that we're feeling like this here. You know, we, as I said before, we, we, we try to block it out and shun it out. And especially in today's society where um, social media portrays um, a very unhelpful portrayal of people's lives and people generally put up a false impression of their life. Oh, look at me, I have such a perfect life and this is what I'm eating for breakfast and this is me, me going to the gym and my life is so happy and my family life is so happy. And it makes other people um, then feel inadequate. And so when uh, when we're feeling like this here, we, we, we don't want to feel any more inadequate than we really do, or we, we think that we do. And um, we don't want to stick out any more than we want to. We, we just want to blend in. And so we, we try to shove those feelings away and try to create distractions. But as I said, this is not the way forward. If you really want to develop along the spiritual path, if you want to understand yourself further and um, because there's a lot of yourself that's hidden to yourself that may sound strange but it is so so true there are aspects of myself um, that i have uncovered that i had absolutely no idea that existed before um, and it was only because i you know took the time out to be by myself and listened to what my feelings were trying to tell me you know, and examined where this was coming from or what it was that it was trying to teach me. And it was through this here that I found out so much more about myself and I became a more balanced person. Uh, this is the key, um, dear listener, um, is to find balance in life. It's not one extreme or the other. It's to find balance in all things. Once you find balance, you are very much on the path to ascension, to graduation, to becoming part of this new world that's coming in. Because believe me, I don't know if I've talked about it before, this new world is not for everyone. I've mentioned that we are on the same frequency as Earth, um, the same vibration. But as I also mentioned, the Earth is changing frequency, the Earth is changing vibration, it is moving to a lighter vibration, to a higher density. Um, and all those who aren't in tune or who won't be in tune with this new vibration will not be um, part of this new Earth. And so it is of the utmost then importance, if you want to be part of this new Earth um, and be part of this lighter vibration, and be part of all of the wonderful, um, how can I say this, um, wonderful um, uh, gifts that this new earth will have to offer, all of the amazing experiences, all of the um, benefits that go with um, developing in your, or raising your spiritual um, development. Um, you need to, uh, Become in tune with yourself. You need to um, start to examine your life and start to examine um, these feelings that are, are coming to you. And as I said, I can't stress this enough. It's not a negative thing. It is just some people 
sorry people, um, it is your spiritual team, it is your higher self, it is the earth itself giving you a nudge, giving you a helping hand and saying, look, there are things that you need to sort out, You things that you need to be paying attention to. And believe me, once you do this, you will feel so much better. You will feel so much more in tune with yourself. Your periods of happiness will be increased. You will not particularly care too much more about what other people think because you will be a more balanced person. And so I hope that um, this has been useful. I hope that uh, the next time that you wake up or feel despondent without a reason, as you put these um, tips and this advice into practice and get more in tune with yourself and ask, ask for help, ask why you're feeling like this here because it then allows your spiritual team, your higher self, your angels, angelic beings and all those other entities who are around you at this time to then aid you and um, because as i said they cannot and will not break free will and so um i will post the links to um to that piece that i wrote on to um website for the schumann resonance so that you can keep a track of um what is happening on the earth because um there is a great um, number of websites that will post about these frequencies and about the the general feeling a lot of this actually um is, is to do with astrology as well astrology will um also um deal with and contend with um planetary shifts and vibrations and um how um certain star signs and um, moving into different constellations can affect the moods and feelings and intentions and vibrations of the earth and the people on it so astrology is um, another extremely helpful tool i have to admit that um, it's not something that i am overly familiar with and um, one person can't know it all unfortunately as much as we'd like but um maybe i'll do one one day on on whatever limited knowledge that i have so yes please please um listen to this put this into practice and um, understand the importance of doing this here and with that i hope you have a great day a great week and hopefully i will see you next week for another episode i'll hopefully not leave it as late but um i'm not immune to these feelings i'm not immune to these shifts um, and sometimes i need to take a break too in order to be alone with myself um but hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be a while before that happens yet. And hopefully I will be um, in touch next week um, with another episode. Um, just in closing, I thought perhaps um, it actually might be a bit more helpful for me to have a bit more structure um, to these podcasts. So um, perhaps next week or going forward, I'll maybe have um, a, maybe a series maybe a, a different series on more spiritual and truths and spiritual topics um, under split under uh, under under oh my god I can't get the word out explaining and um, giving a guide to to um, to spiritual concepts and spiritual realities but until then thank you so much for joining me please if you would leave me a voice note um, let me know how I'm doing, what you think. Um, give me your opinion. This podcast is nothing without you, the listener. Please, if you find it helpful, share it loud. Share it loud. Yeah, share it loud if you want. But spread it. Spread it to anyone you feel may get benefit out of it. Um, my only aim here, as I said before, is to help people, you know, along in their own spiritual development, to give them a step up the ladder, as I have been given a step up the ladder. But it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for listening. And I am over and out.